Alrighty, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to showcase Vision Deathless as a 7 star rank 2. First off, we're going to showcase him without the dupe because, you know, everyone has him at Awaken now. But then we're going to also showcase him with the Sig 200. So how does this guy work? So he's actually immune to Poison Bleed, Cold Snap, and Frostbite. I don't think the OG Visions are immune to Cold Snap and Frostbite, just Poison and Bleed. Now this guy has a uh, new phasing ability. So if Death has Vision special attacks reduce the opponent's power below any full bar, he gains one phase charge and they can stack up to five. And then you use this phase charge by parrying. You do, you know, a well time block. It's basically like Viv. That's how Viv Vision works. And then you're phasing, which means you're gonna, you know, make them miss 100% chance to miss. And then if you attack them during the phase, you're gonna get Fury passives, which actually lasts for 20 seconds, which is nice. And then you can also pause them as well. Uh, but his power control is not as strong as the other visions. He just has a little bit more, you know, basic damage. So if a special or effect generates a phase charge, you flick to heal block passive for 15 seconds. So, you know, that's pretty good. That's, it's a passive. And then the SP1 burns on 35% of bar of power. SP2 135. SP3 200% of bar of power. And you gain a phase, a phase charge. And the dupe is actually not that crazy. So all the opponents suffer from heal block. Seek 200 is going to give you like a thousand attack, which is... It's like, let's say, so he's got 4,900, almost like 5,000. That is not, it's not too much. It's almost like 20, 25% or so. And then for every 4% of the opponent's max health prevented by heal block, inflict instant degeneration dealing a burst of uh, 1,700 damage. So I'm not going to showcase this. We're not going to see anyone healing, but uh, I guess it's nice to have. All right, so first off, this is going to be the 200k healthful Cyclops, and then we're going to move to like the 700k. So this is going to be, you know, unboosted gameplay, no synergies or anything. It's just going to be vision. So, uh, yeah, this is without any recall masteries right now. We're going to showcase him with that as well. He's actually pretty good with suicide masteries because you, you know, he's immune to both of them. And you can go for the special threes to like reduce the recall damage if you want. So then we pirate the special one and then we go in and uh, we have four furies. We're not hitting hard right now for sure. <laughs> uh, I guess the relic is pretty good. But then here, throw another SP1, make sure power drain of his full power. Then phase again, go for some more combos, 8 Furies. And as you can see, the damage is definitely a little bit better, for sure. There we go. So, you know, let's see how, how that was. So 39 seconds, not too impressive, but not terrible either. But I mean, this was like 200k healthful with a 7 star rank too. And uh, yeah, this is not awakened yet. I'm going to showcase him after this. So this guy has a little bit more health. We're going to be able to go for our 12 Furies, which is the max. And you can see his damage. And I also have the Vision Relic on him. I think it gives him a little bit more heal block duration and uh, more attack while the opponent is heal blocked or something. Something like that. I think it's the best one for him. So we're going to go for the special 2 right there. Uh, we drain 2 bars of power, so we got 2 phase charges. Got hit there, unfortunately. But there we go, got four Furies. If you get four Furies from each phase, it's pretty good. It's like the maximum you can get. There we go. It's also nice that you don't take block damage. Like the same thing about Viv. You don't really need to take any block damage. Because you're just phasing when you're parrying. And you can phase specials. And that phase lasts for a pretty good time. Like you can, you can basically like phase some difficult specials. I feel like that might be a little bit of an underrated utility for, for uh, Vision. But as you can see, we're pausing them every time we trigger phase. Uh, posing those furies and we're pretty much like capped at 12 for like the rest of the fight and he's hitting for 13k mediums that's not terrible to be honest it's not really hard to build up uh it's just you know i wish his power train was a little bit better because yeah he has better basic attacks but he doesn't really have crazy good power drain and that's what vision is known for but uh, i guess they had to like take some of his utility for a bit more damage this guy looks sick though. The deathless. Gotta go for that. Oh, 33,000. That wasn't too bad. And then we're gonna kill him with our combos right here. Kinda messed up the parries there. So yeah, let's see. Let's see how that was. I don't think that was like too terrible. Definitely not two minutes, right? Yeah, one minute and 37 seconds. Now let's see the exact same fight that we just saw, but this is going to be sick to 100 vision, which means a uh, thousand or twelve hundred more attack when the opponent is heal blocked. Which is pretty good, you know, it's it's not crazy for a SIG 200, I wish it was like 50% more attack, so like 2,000, 2,500, but uh, 
Yeah, I guess we're gonna take 1200. It's gonna be tough to seek 200 this guy though, so... I don't know. It's uh... I don't know if people are really liking Vision. Uh, I've seen some people that like Guillotine 399. And I guess Guillotine for me is... Is the worst if you don't rank her up. So what I mean by this is that with Guillotine you want to actually have a good rank difference on the opponent. So if you fight like a rank 2 and yours is rank 3, you're gonna see a lot of damage. But if you have a rank 1 and you fight a rank 3, it's gonna be really tough to build up your charges because it's based off the opponent's max health where you gain your charges. And if you start getting those charges, you're hitting like a truck. Your degens are crazy. You got some life still if yours is awakened, which you should. So I think if we if we compare them as rank 1s, Deathless Vision is better, better than Guillotine. But if we compare them as rank 3s, I think Guillotine is better because the rank difference. So, yeah. And I feel like Deathless King Guru is probably the best one. You know, he just works great for tech heroes and he's just such a tank. Got that nice region. Probably the best one so far. But yeah, let's see if this fight was a little bit faster. I think it was. We did some pretty good numbers right there. And uh, let's see, the previous one was a minute and 37 seconds, I believe. 14 medium, not bad. So let's see how faster that was, much faster. So that was like 10 seconds faster. Like, you know, it's not, it's not a big difference. And then here, this is going to be back to the unawakened vision, because this is more realistic, that's what we got so far. And this is with recalls, so man, yeah. With recalls, he's he's pretty good. Like, he will be, be surprised how good he is. And uh, yeah, this fight is like 200k health pools. We're gonna throw like, I, I don't know, like one special. Don't even need more, because our basics are hitting so hard, even without any furies right now. Throw the SP1, try to phase. I think the special. There we go. We got four furies and already hitting for 12k medium attacks. At this point, I don't even need to throw another special to like take the recoil damage. So it's like, yeah, it's pretty good with recoils. Yeah, we go kill him with that special too. Now this is going to be the last fight. You know, this Cyclops again with 696 health. And here we're going to showcase the SP3. So the SP3, the only reason I'm showcasing this is because if you want to use him with recoils on, you ideally want to go for the special three so you don't like take a lot of recoil damage. But the special three drains two full bars of power and it gives you a phase charge, which means you're going to get three after the special three, which is great. So yeah, at this point, we're not dealing too much damage. You know, you're not going to have any damage unless you throw a special three, but we can easily push him to the special three and drain him with that, drain two bars of power. There's double building up our damage. There we go. We got three, unfortunately, there. Then we got seven. Perfect. So we got four on this one. I want to phase the special two beams. There we go. Ah, uh, that was... Yeah, I remember that happened. That was a bit unfortunate. We got eight fears on that one. Pretty weird. Okay, sorry about that. 39,000 this one day. I missed the parry there. I missed the parry there too. Man. But you're going to see his damage now with 12... Furies, 20,000 on that relic was really nice. 16,000 medium attacks. And he's also heal block that we're not awakened now. Keep that in mind. That was a pretty good special too. 100k special too with recalls. It's um, it's pretty fun, honestly. I really like using this guy with recalls. That's definitely definitely a lot better. So yeah, this Deathless Vision, I feel like he's probably the worst one we got so far. Unless, you know, your Guillotine is not really ranked up. Because she needs the rank difference to be able to get those charges before they fall off. But Vision, you know, he has like okay utility, I guess, like some power drain. You can't really rely on it too much, like the other Visions, but he is Cold Step Immune, Poison, Bleed. That's some pretty good immunities. Uh, also Frostbite, so he's like okay for Iceman, I guess. You can use him for Iceman. And uh, yeah, the passive heal block is much, much better than the other Visions. But yeah, this guy, I, I wish he was like slightly better, but he does have some good things on him. Like this phase when you parry it could save you from some difficult specials. It lasts for two seconds or like a little bit less, I think, but it could save you from some like crazy block damage if you cannot really like full decks one special. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think about Deathless Vision. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.